Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let me see about the process infected food bar detection using K-means clustering segmentation technique. Let me see the abstract of the process infected food bar detection using K-means clustering segmentation technique. The manual identification of the detecting things from the given data is very time consuming. We propose an unsupervised learning approach which uses the k-means clustering segmentation. The color images are first converted into lab color space. Then k-means clustering is applied in order to segment the images. Finally, the defected cluster is identified. In the proposed work, we use k-means clustering based, based segmentation in order to def identify defected apple. First, the test apple image is taken and it will be in RGB color space. Then it is converted into lab color space. The colors are segmented using k-means clustering. Each pixels are then labeled. Then the input image is segmented based on the color differences. Finally, defected cluster is identified. Let me see the flow of the process. Infected fruit pod detection using k-means clustering segmentation technique. Initially, the input defected apple images were taken. They were pre-processed using Gaussian filter. Gaussian filter smooths the input image and produces the clear output image. Pre-processing is an initial step in all image processing processes. Then we are converting the RGB color space of the input image into LAB color spaces. The input color image of the fruit is first transformed from RGB to LAB color space. The LAB color space includes all the perceivable color models. LAB model is a device independent that is the colors are defined independent of the nature of creation and or the devices that are displayed in the LAB color space values were then passed into the k-means clustering so that the input image is segmented using k-means clustering algorithm. K-means is an unsupervised clustering method that classifies the input data objects into multiple classes on the basis of their inherent distance from each other. The group of pixels present in an image are grouped to form a cluster. Then the distribution of their intensity values were calculated. Then the centered values were calculated based on the clusters were classified. Clustering is done in order four times to get accurate results. From the calculated k-means value, each pixel of the image is labeled. Every pixel of the image will be labeled with its cluster index. This helps us to find which pixel belongs to which pixel cluster. Image segmentation. The pixel in the images are then segmented by colors using pixel labels generated by the k-means in the previous step. New images were generated which segments the given image based on the color. The defected cluster is identified by comparing the segmented images and the defected clusters. The defected clusters by are identified by the difference in the changes in the image. Finally, the images that contains defected clusters are set to best defected Thus, we are segmenting the input apple images based on k-means clustering algorithm. Let me see the execution of the process infected fruit pod detection using k-means clustering segmentation technique. If you want to run the code, select the file main.dm which is located in the source code folder. Right click it and when you click on run file, the guy window will be displayed. This guy window contains all the user interfaces that is required in order to run the code. First, load the input image by clicking on the load image button. You can browse and select the data set and give any one of the defected apple images that are given and then the input apple images is initially pre-processed. For pre-processing, we are using Gaussian filter. This image is the pre-processed image which is filtered using the Gaussian filter and then the clear color channels of the images were splitted for further processing. When, when you click on RGB to 
LAB, the RGB components of the input images were converted into lab space. Here, L represents the lightness and the AB or the color component components and, this, and they are split and the result is displayed. Now, we are going to segment the input image using K-means algorithm. The K-means algorithm segments the image by cluster by cluster. When we click on the first cluster, the first cluster is displayed. This is the initial segmentation of the K-means, which segments the image based on the input colors given in the image. Then the second cluster. Here, the segmentation is done further in order to remove the excess regions which are present and then finally the third cluster here the third cluster displays the most uh, relevant colors in the image here we are the yellow color is mostly presented in the input image so that region is alone segmented and the other regions were black and then finally this is the final segmentation which gives the segmented result based on the color intensity values in each color space now thus we have segmented the input apple images based on k-means clustering algorithm by cluster by cluster and the final result is displayed here thank you